Hell of an accusation. I know the couple who called this in. Mike Stewart is a doctor. He doesn't have your- You saw my license. This is my house. Let me see that license again. Silent Hill Shattered Memories was released on the Wii in 2009, before getting ports to the PSP and PS2 a few months later, but you're here because you want to know which version to emulate on PC, so let's get started right away. The PSP version is emulated on PPSSPP, and for the most part there's nothing to complain about. The frame rate is a steady 60 and there doesn't appear to be any glitches. The game looks a lot better than Silent Hill Origins, and this time the graphics are much closer to the PS2 version. The PSP version could only rely on one analog stick, so movement was always going to be awkward. It's not the emulator's fault, but it is something to be aware of. Like I said, the visuals are not massively improved on PS2. However, it does have better lighting and shadows, and unlike Silent Hill Origins, the PS2 version does utilize the right analog stick. It's used to change the camera and works like any other third-person game. I will add, however, that performance was uneven, but seemed fine as long as everything stayed above 30. Strangely, animation seemed to be sped up when the game was running close to 60 frames. The main advantage of the PS2 version is that it can be modified. It has a texture pack and a patch to remove the grain filter, although it wasn't needed in my case. The filter did not work when I played on PCSX2. The texture pack may impose a further performance drop, depending on your hardware. And to be honest, I was a bit underwhelmed. It may not be worth the graphical upgrade. Cheryl! Cheryl? Sweetie? The Wii version was widely known to be the best version of the game. It had better 3D models and textures, but when it comes to emulation, it falls a little short. Firstly, I experienced more frequent frame drops than on PCSX2, especially when new areas loaded in. It's still very playable, but performance loss can be more severe. You might hear audio crackles, or the scene might stutter briefly as the geometry loads in. There's also some visual bugs as seen here. And for some reason, people were mute when I was talking to them on the phone. Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there, wait for me. Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there, wait for me. You have to run, Daddy, you can't fight them. The major issue are the controls. Early in the game, you need to overturn a can to get a key. It's impossible to continue otherwise. So in Dolphin, make sure to assign buttons to the tilt function. This should also fix most control hassles moving forward.
Well, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.